sequence of sketches for them, you know, like even for this uh, stuff, it could provide something additional for their game design, you know. But personally, I feel that it would be more interesting in this way. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just have to design them and see how they how they take it from from there. Yeah. But it's actually kind of like come kind of like a. Last lesson or something like sharing session or for the artists over there is that part of the company that you know you need to look more than just Google images from the from from the Google. You need to go to actual place to actually touch things, move things around. Uh, I mean certain certain areas, you know, like the very old Egypt artifacts, don't touch it, you know. Uh, but just go and see and experience it. It would improve your it improves your design greatly, you see. Uh, only if you go and see. Which is why uh, which is why I actually say that uh, for you guys, you know, uh, I think most most of you guys are Singaporeans, I believe. Or PR. Anyone from any other country? Yeah, I know, not you. But, uh, yeah. Oh, Malaysia. Uh, yeah, that's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just that uh, this is actually something that I want to share with you guys. You know, uh, just just from all these things. Okay. Um, this is something personal. Okay. Uh, which I feel is more like a highlight of this whole talk. It's actually to share with you guys that uh, your world is not just Singapore. You need to see more than that. You need to move out of this country. I'm not saying leave this country and don't come back forever. <laughs> okay. The government will drop my head. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is you need to move out, see more, and come back. You need to make sure that you know you are not just Singaporean, but you are also part of this planet. You, know? you need to set you need to set your vision way further than that. Okay. Move out, see more things, okay. Uh, Go to a particular country, stay for a few years, uh, experience how they do things, you know, their life, and then you come back, and then you share. Which is what I'm, what I'm doing right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you about this industry at, the, at, at this moment, uh, according to you know my just my half year as a business as entrepreneur. I mean. This is something that I actually see. Okay, uh, you guys know that China is picking up way, 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 way too fast. They have the resources, they have the population. Okay. Let's say, let's say for every particular population, only 1% of the people will be inventors or creatives. That 1% applied to the population of China. They can form an army by their own, right? Uh, this is, uh, I'm not. I'm not saying anything against China. Okay, uh, it's a natural progression. You know, initially it is in Europe, UK. You know, subsequently it moved to US. Okay, and then now it starts to move towards Asia, mostly in China. Okay, uh, I saw their work. Okay, a lot of fantasy work. If you go, if you really go and uh, observe. Okay. Your work is fantastic, okay? Uh, and it's just pure craftsmanship at this moment. I have seen, I, I started to see design coming from that. I have started to see, but uh, it's in terms of design, they are still in the face of catching up. But don't be too happy. That's just two years. I say probably even shorter. They are already at a stage where they start to go into invention and things like that. And I have to tell you guys, you know, uh, probably some of you guys you know, who just want to finish your education uh, and then just want to find a, find a good job, you know, pay well, and then um, just to see if the amount is uh, good enough for your CPF to so take out, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm going to tell you that the things that you guys are going to do in this current two years um, is going to affect you seriously in the future time to come. What I'm going to say, why I'm saying that is that 
B, you are a service-based business model, or you are just an individual trying to give service for work, right? You are going to lose out. You are going to have a price war with all these people from China. Okay, you guys have to start thinking ahead of that. Which is why, you know, uh, you know like, 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 Dave is actually talking about IP creation, you know, things like that. You guys have to go towards that direction. Why? Because if you're someone who creates IPs, okay, you can get help from people in China or other countries. That means you guys are working along with them and not working against them. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? Is that right until now, right now, uh, in my studios, we always try to work alongside and not try to work against. Because if you are trying to work against, you know, the Taiwan, the Taiwan government actually just say Singapore is just like a you know, the pizza is one. But so small country, you know, how are you going to manage to, to, to overcome that those millions of artists in, in in China? And I'm trying to say that you know, guys, you have seen NCT's tutorial, you know, it's giving out free. People in China are actually looking at that and learning from it. You know, two years uh, is actually just a same gap. But I'm thinking it's going to be faster. That's so why you guys have to start thinking about like kind of push push yourself to always think further than that. Okay? Well, the only way you guys can survive in the future is where you start to think of things that belongs to you. Okay. Uh, one one saying that it's possible for you guys will in the way of my eye. I don't know what you're trying to say. You know, like things is so tough over here. You know, uh, how to make it happen? You know? Just look at it in another way. What is Singapore? You know, what do we have over here? What is in Malaysia? What is in Malaysia? You know, I have to people in uh, in Thailand. You know, uh, the Brunei, in India. You know, and other different country. You know, you start to look at what your country has. Uh, Singapore is pretty young, but I know, like Mr. Gyasu, that is something old, okay? But it's something Singapore. I thought at a point in time, before I'm buying Mr. Gyasu toys, right? I thought it works. That is something that belongs to Singapore, right? People from MIP, you will have seen the animation over and over again in the movie Chandu. I know it's a World War II, you know, Sleeping Private Ryan and things like that. But hey, that belongs. That is something that belongs to Singapore, right? And then, uh, you know, Selena Utama, you know, the one who actually kind of name name this place as Singapore. Why not just do an animation out of it of that? You know, do something that belongs to that criteria. You know, there's a lot of source that actually that is within your reach that you can actually design and try to develop from there. Okay, I I can actually. I can actually show you guys, you see, like But this, this, this kind of thing is actually embodied, you know That's most the most concept, like creature, creature concept design right? It seems like in Bali, they always have this, uh, they always have these creatures, you know Big eyes, big, big ears, and uh, big mouth, and things like that, you know Yeah, things like that, you see by itself, uh, it has some story in it. Yeah, that monster and then the guy who is not sure of what he's doing. Oh. 